Hi. Today I'm going to be discussing how do we promote a Windows Server to a secondary domain controller. So if you work in a company and you are asked actually to install a secondary domain controller, how do you go about that? So I assume that you've installed your primary domain controller. Of course, you're going to do this with a fixed IP address and then you have the, um, the, the host name change to a proper host name. And then if I go to my IP address, let me just go to the control panel and here I go to my network properties. Here I go to internet. Here you can see that I already assigned a static IP address to this domain controller. So you should never allow, uh, you should never allow your DHCP server to allocate an IP address to your server. You should never do that because when something goes wrong with your server and that um, that DHCP server allocate that same IP address to a different um, workstation or to a different server, people may have problem accessing your domain controller. So now we want to install a secondary domain controller. So first of all, we need to make sure that the host name is properly configured. And also, we also need to make sure that we can access the first domain, uh, primary domain controller. If I try to ping the host name, here you can see I got, I get back a reply. And if we as well ping the IP address, can see we also get a reply so what we need to do right now to install to promote this server to a um, secondary uh, domain controller we just need to click on add roles and future here we're going to say it's going to be a role based or future based installation click next so we are going to install it on this domain second this domain server so click next and here we're going to install active directory domain service then add the features that's, that is required to be installed on this server and click next. Here you don't need to add any other features as you can see the group policy will be added so just click next and then here we have the option to actually if you want to configure Office 365 with Azure Active Directory we can as well do that here but for now just click next and then click install. So I'm going to pause this um, video and come back again when the installation has completed, then we can promote this server. So here we can see that the um, installation has completed, but we still need to promote this server to a domain controller. So let me just click, I can actually click on promote this server to a domain controller, or I can click close. And here, let me just close the command prompt. Okay, here you can see that we have a notification, so click on the notification. And here you can click on promote this server to a domain controller. So we have three options here. We say we are asked to actually add a domain controller to an existing domain. That's exactly what we want to do. So we are not going to add a new domain to an existing forest because we don't have a forest yet or add a new um, forest. If we are going to add a new forest, those automatically this is going to be the primary domain. So I'm going to type the domain name. Test.com and just click select. Then enter your credentials. Don't see, then enter your password. You should make sure that this, click, click OK. And here you can see that this, this, the credentials has been automatically supplied. You should make sure that the credentials, the credentials you are going to provide here, should have a domain um, an, an admin privilege. If not, you will, not be, you, you will not be able to promote this server to a secondary domain controller. So click next. And here we have been asked if this is also going to be our DNS server. So we can say, okay, well, we don't want to use this as a DNS server, but probably I want to actually use also that. This, this DNS server should also be available on my um, second server should in case something goes wrong then this server should be available to also assist the user so I'm just going to actually enter my password and confirm your password again then click next and here it says the delegation for the DNS server cannot be created but it's just a um, normal notification you receive don't panic and just click next so it's asking from which server do, do we want to replicate from. So I just want to replicate from my primary domain server, not from any other server, and just click next. 
here you see we have the specified the location of the active directory domain service database so i'm going to leave it at, as um, at the default one and just click next so we can as well review and see if everything is correct we can as well click on the view scri script we can use this info to, um, if we want to use powershell to promote another server we can as well use this powershell script to do that we'll just click next for now and here it's going to is and uh, the prerequisite chest is going to check if everything is properly configured if not you're going to receive an error message which will actually notify you to correct some things before you can continue so click install and here we can see the domain server is being promoted so i'll come back again and uh, when, when this inf um, installation has been completed so here we see that the installation is completed and your server is going to be restarted so you see the computer is being restarted because Active directory domain service was installed or removed so just click close and wait for some seconds here you can see the server is being restarted so now let's try to log on after the computer has been restarted so here I'm going to log on as an administrator or as well I can actually use a different name because I've already created a different name to log on to this um, domain server let me just use my name so I'm being logged on at the moment so if I go to the primary domain controller and let me just click on this and go to Active Directory Users and Computers And here, when I go to um, under domain controller, here you can see we have a secondary, a second domain controller, as well as also a global catalog. So what I did is I created a different organization unit where I will actually move my servers to. So here you can see I created an so unit called the domain controller, just shortcut DC. So here I have my primary domain controller ready, so I can as well move my secondary domain controller to this organization unit. So if I go to here, you can see that my, my secondary domain controller has already started. So when I go to Active Directory Users and Computers, so hold on, and I go to click on Kajo Computers, you can see everything is being replicated because I also have a unit called Kajo Computers. When I go to Computers, here I have my servers, I have my domain controllers here you can see we have a uh, primary and secondary server so, so should in case something goes wrong and this server goes down this server will always be available for users users will be able to access their their, um, their com log on to their computer and they should be able to access their file but if you only have one primary domain controller in, a, in, your, in your environment when something goes wrong with the primary with the primary domain controller or uh, believe you me something will definitely go wrong one day and surely you'll be receiving a lot of calls of you are saying i cannot access the server i cannot log into my email because probably the exchange server is linked to that domain controller i cannot access my file because the file server also is also linked to the domain controller so you'll be having a lot of problem a lot of problem so that's why it is very very important you install a secondary domain controller on your environment so if i actually go to my dns let me just click on the dns and here if i click on my dns name host name and then i click on you can see we already have our full lookup zone and our secondary lookup zone as well so we can see we have two domain two servers um, ip address in this dns reverse lookup zone so thank you very much for watching my video my name is kelvin johnson and if you think this video has been of any help to you please don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel for more it related video and you can also leave a comment if you have any question i will reply to your comment as quick as possible thank you and don't forget to give me a thumb up for taking my time to create this video goodbye